In this video, we will see how to add protocols and tags to a project. First, double click on Protocols to open the Protocols tab. A protocol is essentially the same as a driver or an instance of communication with another device or internal memory. In this example, we will create a protocol to communicate with another device using Modbus TCP. We will also add the Codasys protocol to establish communication with the Codasys soft PLC. Finally, we will use the variables protocol to create some internal variables. First, click on the plus sign to add a new protocol. Now click on the drop down arrow to open the protocol list and select the protocol that you want to use. First, we will use Modbus TCP. Doing this will open a configuration dialog. Enter the IP address of the device that you would like to communicate with. And check that its port and Modbus ID are correct. Jmobile will assign port 502 and Modbus ID 1 by default. The PLC model may also be relevant, which controls the size of the registers and whether addressing begins at 0 or 1. Click OK when finished. It may be necessary to edit this later. You can do so by clicking in the configuration cell and clicking on the white square. Next, we will add the Codasys v3 protocol. The only configuration that is necessary is the IP address, and since Codasys resides on the HMI, it will be localhost or 127.0.0.1. Then click OK. Lastly, we will add the variables protocol. This protocol will allow us to create internal variable tags, which can be useful for internal math or testing. Since it does not communicate with another device, there is no necessary configuration. We are now finished adding protocols, so we can save and close this tab. Next, double click on tags to open the tags tab. Tags are instances of shared data between the HMI and another device. We can either add tags by creating them individually or import them from a file obtained from another device. First, we will create some tags manually. Tags will always be associated with a protocol depending on what device they are communicating with. Use the drop down box to select the protocol. For the first tags we'll create, make sure that Modbus TCP is selected. Now click the plus icon to create a new tag. When creating your first tag, you will be prompted to configure it. This means setting a memory type, an offset, and a data type. Then click OK when finished. This configuration can be edited at a later time by clicking in the address cell and clicking on the white square. You can also change the name of the tag by clicking in the name cell and typing a new name. Now create another tag, again by clicking the plus sign. Notice that for your second tag, it will use the same data type and next address. It may be necessary to edit this. Switch to the variables protocol by clicking in the drop down menu and selecting variables and click plus to add a new tag. Notice that there is no offset or memory type for these tags since they are only communicating internally. Select string as the data type and you'll notice that the array size field becomes editable. The array size field determines the maximum length of a string or an array. Set it to 20 so that the string can have 20 characters, and then click OK to finish. Switch to the Codasys protocol. This time, instead of creating the tags manually, I will import them from a file that I exported from Codasys. Click the icon with the right arrow and closing bracket to import tags. Select the appropriate tag importer to match your file type, and then click OK. Locate the tag file on your computer, select it, and click Open, then click OK to add the tags. These imported tags will be added to a tag dictionary that is shown at the bottom of the page. The three tags that we created earlier were added directly to our tag database, which means that we can use them in our project but the tags that we just imported have not yet been added to the tag database. To add them, click on the ones you would like to add. You can click them individually or multiple at a time while clicking and holding the control key. You can also select multiple at a time by clicking and highlighting 
or you can select all of them by hitting Ctrl and A at the same time. It is also possible to search through this list using the search bar. Once you have selected the tags that you would like to add, use the blue icon on the left to add the tags from your tag dictionary to your tag database. Now these tags can be used throughout the project just like our other three tags. Finally, click show all tags to view all seven of our tags. We can see that our Modbus TCP tags, our variables tag, and our four codices tags are all part of the tag database.